Hey, how you doing? The other day I got asked how I actually process my um, infrareds to black and white. So I'll try to explain it to you. But uh, first let me say I'm using a converted Canon Rebel uh, and when I shoot infrared especially to convert it for black and white, and I know I'm going to convert it to black and white, I actually put on an orange filter. So there's the trick. To get such stunning pictures, the orange filter attached to the infrared camera. Anyways, you'll see I always start on a Lightroom, mainly because that's where I organize my uh, pictures from. Everything is organized in Lightroom for me. I don't touch the infrared in Lightroom. It's only there for organizational. organizational. And uh, from there I uh, boot it into Photoshop. So let's go to Photoshop. Okay, so now we're in Photoshop. And the first thing you're probably going to notice is uh, I use a lot of plugins. I have the Nick series. I have the Topaz. Ignomatic. So I do use a lot of plugins. So the first thing I do here is I'm going to use Silver Effects Pro to convert it for me. Now, I'm quite happy with the way it is right now, just using the neutral. But what I'll do is I will change some of my global settings. I'll bump up the structure just a little bit. And I'll pull the contrast just a little bit. Brightness I'll just take down just to give it a little more bite. And then usually what I do is I will go through all the filters and test the filters one at a time. But I know that the blue one gives me that little bit different punch. A lot of times I'll go through film types. I didn't require it on this one particular image. So I'm just going to go OK to this one and let it go. Now we're back into Photoshop. It's been converted. I now want to remove some of the noise. As you can see there is some noise in here. So I'm holding on the, the Z or the Z button and the Alt to go out. Hit the Z to go in and the Alt to pull it out. So I'll go into Define, and it will run its analysis on the image and try to clean it up. Nine times out of ten I let it do its thing. The odd time I just grab these little bars, make them a little bit bigger, and then I just kind of watch over here and see how clean it is down here in the corner. Well, I like it. Good for me. I let it go. It takes a second to run through. The next one I run through is Revesa. Pops it up. For this one, just want to pull the structure a little bit and a little bit of contrast. Not much, just a little bit. I'm good with the brightness. I actually like the rest of it. And once this is done, I'll, I'll flatten my image. So I'm happy with all those. I flatten the image. And then I will hit a Control J and rename this to P Topaz. I can spell it. Back up the topaz, and we will go to topaz adjust. Topaz adjust should just give it that little bit more pop. And as you can see, it's got a little bit more pop to it. Uh, I tell you what I'll do. I'll just reset all. That's the original back to the original, and all I did was I used Detail Medium. That's all I did.
I leave I, on this one I left the global adjustments and all those the same but you can get in here and you can play with the details and the strength but I'm quite happy with that so we'll then go back to Photoshop And there you go. All done.